And here is the second training tool that we will discuss and that you will implement in your training plan. This is the chess learning. What I mean by that? Well, you're probably aware that usually people divide the chess game by three stages, an opening, middle game and an end game. So far that's pretty clear. But now I'll be telling you more specific things that you really need to take into account for building your solid and effective training. First of all, which stage is more important? Where should you allocate more attention and more of your training time? First of all, I may say that you may allocate little less time for the end game, simply because it is the latest stage of the game, and if you don't play the opening and the middle game well, you may lose the game sooner than you might have the chance to demonstrate your outstanding end game technique. Again, you should learn end game. I'm not saying you should not do that totally. I'm just saying that you should allocate a little less time compared to the other stages. Now, if we talk about the opening and the middle game, which stage is more important? Which stage should you take the primary focus on? If you may purchase a book about either an opening or a middle game, which one would you choose? The most players choose the opening, simply because it is very straightforward. I think it's quite similar to chess puzzles. People like doing this and they also like uh, learning openings because this is very straightforward. In case of the opening, you just, let's say, watch a video where a certain grandmasters shows you exactly which moves to be played in a certain opening and you just watch them and you go and play exactly the same moves in your own games. The problem here is that there are millions of various opening positions that may happen. Even the top grandmasters who uh, were studying chess during their whole life face novelties regularly, almost in their whole game in their every game. So of course if we talk about you, you will inevitably face new opening positions all the time. There is no way to learn them all. Secondly, and also even most importantly, when I see the games of different people and different students, very often I see that the evaluation of a position changes many times throughout one game. Therefore, there is no direct connection between the opening position you got and the end result of the game. Again, it's totally fine and useful to learn the opening theory, but don't become obsessed with that, don't rely on that totally, because this is not the universal cure. Actually, the universal cure is to master your middle game skills. By saying so, I mean to master your system of thinking that will help you find the best move in any position. To improve your general understanding of the game, to improve your strategic understanding, to improve and to learn the strategic and tactical motifs. If you do this, you will really be the universal player and you will play any stage of the game in any position no matter if you know the theory or not. How can you learn these stages of a chess game? How can you acquire this knowledge? Well, you may study my courses or any other chess coach that you like. If you allocate one time, one hour for that daily, this will ensure your constant and regular progress. That's it here. Now let's move on to the third and the last training method that I'm going to be sharing with you. The third training tool is the most powerful. So just click the link and I'll be waiting for you in the next video.